Okay, so now that we've got the high level, the next step that, I, that I'm going to do is basically to start doing detail into my, into my route. And this is um, quite easy to do. On this specific route, I know there's a lot of off-roading that's going to happen from state level all the way through to Bobby Hans, the Hell, and Sutherland up to Carnafon, which means that I think I'm probably, to save time, gonna gonna stick to Tar all the way down to state level, and um, from and as well as back. In other words. The two main legs coming down and going back home, I'm probably going to stick to TAR so that I can get to the 4 by uh, the off-road section a lot easier. So I'm going to show you a really cool function, which is, which is a very typical Google Maps function, and that is to have Google do the line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add on my day one and day two, which I'm going to say I want to add on a driving route. And you'll see a driving route tends to create its own layer, and it says click on the map to start tracing your route. So I'm going to start at home. Come on, there we go. And I'm going to probably go to Colesburg thereabouts. Um, okay. <coughs> and just enter. Come on. Okay, there we go. So it basically, you'll see created the A and the B, which is the two areas there. But I might want to change that to just go to Colesburg on day one, so I'm going to edit that and I'm going to say Colesburg, oops, oops, Colesburg, there we go. And that is going to give me a couple of hundred Ks for day one. But seeing as I'm not really interested in where Google's taking me, I'm actually going to go through to state level. So you'll see on the left hand side, we're just going to add on state level, there we go. Okay, so that represents day one and day two, and I'm going to rename that layer day one and day two. Okay, so the, 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 to have these distances, um, a little bit different from clicking on the, on the line, if you draw a line to see the distance, to see the distances on a driving route, go to the layer on the left hand side, you've got your layer options, and you go to your step, uh, step by step directions, and there you go, if you look at this, basically says the overall thing is a thousand kilometers but your first section there it is is 671 kilometers we're going to Colesburg and then on the next if I scroll a little bit down it will show me the next day from B is 352 um, kilometers so those are day one is going to be a long day day two is going to be less and then I can rest and then we're going to get into off-roading but I've got now that I have these distances um, I'm going to add them onto my spreadsheet so that my spreadsheet stays current so um, so tuning to Colesburg was 671 and then from Colesburg I'm going to state level and if you remember, I can't remember what that was, let's see, that was 352 kilometers. Okay, 352. Okay, um, uh, what I will also do is just add on, use Google's, um, I'm going to move this, I'll use Google's uh, summary tool to just have a total distance and I can keep track of the overall distance that I'm doing. Okay, now the fun starts because I'm at state level. I know state level, really cool little door. I'll probably stay in the hotel and I'm going to do the next day's, um, uh, 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 close that. Here we go. So let's do the off-road levels. Um, I've got my days to state level. I've got my high level. I've got my points of interest. Um, first things first, I want to add onto my points of interest. I'm going to select the layer. I'm going to take my, um, I can either search or I can use my marker tool. Um, I know roughly what I want to do. And if I do my points of interest, it sort of almost creates a line that I can see that I want to do. So the one thing is I want to have a coffee at the wrist um, in Oetzweren. I'm going to add that onto my map. You will see it adds it onto the layer that I've selected. I'm on the points of interest layer. The other one, I've got Sutherland. Um, someone said I must try and visit Ronnie's sex shop there. That's in Brederefier. So I'm going to add that on. And um, I'm going to zoom out and see if it forms part of my plan. I think it might be a little bit out of the way. Yeah, if, 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 if we're going to go to um, the Flucht and um, the Rist and then end up in Gamka, then it might, Ronnie's might be, but I'm just going to leave it there for now. I also want to visit, uh, go through Patenzi. 
and the reason for that is that I might need fuel there so I'm going to add on Patenzi to my map and remember the icons that you can change so if I click on I know I, I, I think I'm Patenzi I know is a, is a good fuel stop so I'm going to basically change the icon to say fuel there will be a little petrol tank and I'm going to change the color maybe to green which is always green is always a, <laughs> a positive color to do um, another one I want to do is I want to go to Hamka Dam and we want to visit old Fox there I don't know if Fox is still um, operating there but I want to I know the dam the campsite that's the bottom side no that's not the right dam so we're gonna delete that <coughs> um, okay, I'll add on the Hamka Dam selected the 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 wrong one um, but we'll fix that now so there's the wrist there's the hell um, oh this is where I want to be so you'll see this is now not something I'm searching for but I know someone said if you enter um, through Bosch Bosch Kloof on the left hand side into Hamka Kloof this is where I know the gentleman's name is Fox if he's still there he runs cabins right here on the on the close to the dam wall and I don't know what to search for so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a pin and I'm going to drop my marker manually there and I'm going to say um, Hamka Dam Camping and as you know because it's a campsite I want to change it into a little camp icon and I'm going to make it orange ok so there we go with that um, I also in Bavihan someone said we can s we can camp at 8 spun let's look at 8 spun um, Bobby Arns Kloof, there we go, we're going to add that to the map, also going to change that into camping, so you'll see the intention of this step is to try and put in as much as possible um, uh, uh, points of interest, because if I zoom out, have a look at this, if I zoom out, there's a natural flow of where, what I'm going to see in this area um, at the bottom of my the main leg okay so we've got our points of interest and now let's start with the really enjoyable piece which is linking the doing the actual routes that we're going to ride and the, we, what we're going to navigate so this is going over onto the next step